Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Helpful How To's with Blake, that's me. Today, I've got some old barn wood that I'm going to refinish to use inside for decorative, decorative purposes, excuse me. So, I'm gonna show you how I refinish it and what I use to do so. Let's get started. All right, this is what we're starting with today. This is an old uh, piece from my barn that fell in a couple years ago. Still got the barn wood in a pile that we just randomly build stuff with. So as you can see, pretty thick and I've already cut it to the length I need now if you notice right here how it looks darker that's moisture we've got it covered up with a tar but you know rain still gets in there sometimes so we're going to make sure all this moisture is evaporated because we're going to sand it first so once all this moisture is gone we can do this side but for now I just can go ahead and do the other side just for the video purpose so let me show you what we're going to use and we'll get started. Okay, we're going to start with this. This is just a regular old palm sander. I think I got this at Harbor Freight. Well, I know I got it at Harbor Freight. So I got it at Harbor Freight, but I think it was between $15 and $20. I mean, it's cheap, but I've used the heck out of it and it's still working. Now I've got these sander pads and it came with an 80, a 100, and a 120 grit. I think this is, yeah, this is a 100. That's all I've got left, I need to buy more, but usually I use the 80, the 100 will also work. So we're going to use this 100 grit pad and just sand our timber over there until it feels smooth. So here we go. Okay, we're going to take our sander and just start from one end and work our way to the other. I'm only going to do a couple feet and then I'll come over here and show you, or I'll bring the camera over here and show you how it looks. So, since I'm outside, I'm not wearing a mask. Uh, if you're doing this in your building or shop somewhere it's not well ventilated i would recommend wearing a mask and definitely glasses because you don't want all this old wood dust you don't want to breathe that in might not be good for you so here we go Okay, here's where I just sanded. You can see the difference in color from there to where it's old, still old, and uh, really rough right there. But where I sanded, it's smooth. Now, I've got my air compressor hose, and this hooked up in the building behind me. We're just gonna blow it off. There we go, so now you can really see how it looks. So we're going to finish this whole piece and when I get done sanding the whole piece and blowing it off I'll be back to show you what I'm going to finish this with. Okay, something else I didn't say. Uh, since it's old barn wood, there's old nails everywhere in here. We tried to remove them but they're very old and they can break off. Like right here, there's one that's broke off sticking up. Now if you drag your sander across that, it's going to rip the pad pretty good I think. It might sand it down a little bit but I want my pad to last as long as possible. So I got one there. There's a few like right here, but they're far enough in there to not worry about. So I'm just gonna take my hammer, knock it in. If you can knock it in with a hammer, that'll work. If you got a pair of pliers and can pull it out, that's even better. Okay, I've got all the sides sanded, but remember where it was wet, you can still see it looks kind of dark and damp there. And also when you sand it, if it's wet, See if it can focus. There you go. See the little strands right there sticking out? It's because it's wet. So I want to let this dry out possibly till tomorrow. And then uh, I'll re-sand this area and that should take care of most of that. So here's the rest. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what how to finish, at least start on this side. So let's get that going. Okay, I've got it all cleaned off and I uh, blew it off with an air compressor hose. We're going to use this. This is Minwax Polycrylic. Now, this is for inside only. You don't want to use this outside in the weather. But this will make it look really good. So, we're going to not really shake it, but stir it up real good. I know I said not shake it, but not shake vigorously because I don't want a lot of air bubbles. And we're going to just put a layer on here 
and let it dry. All right, everything is clean and dry. Got our paintbrush and our men wax. I'm gonna stir it up with the brush. And then just apply a coat, here we go. And it looks milky while you're doing it, but it'll dry clear. I'll try to get a good bit to soak down into those cracks. That way it seals it up real good. Now I'll go a bunch of different ways just to get it to soak in, but then my last ones, my last stroke, I always want to go the same way, just like if you're painting a house or, you know, in a room, so. Let's go this way. And you can already see the difference it's making between here and here. So we're gonna do this whole thing and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, we've done two out of the four sides because I don't wanna turn it on the wet side on the sawhorses while it's still wet. Any, anyway, so here is a side with one coat. As you can see, it looks so much different. Now these are just little air bubbles from me going over with the brush. They'll eventually dry out and you won't see it. If you do, you can sand it again and go over it one more time. But they recommend with the men wax on the directions, after we've done this and then we've let it dry for I think at least two hours, maybe it's four hours, I'll have to look and see. But we're gonna hit it again with a 220 grit sandpaper just to give it another good sanding, and then we'll do one more coat. And after that's dry, we'll be good. Now, just to show you the difference. There you go. That's what it looked like before. And that's what it looked like after. All right, I'm back. And by I'm back, I mean it's tomorrow, but thanks to the magic of video, this is just one seamless transition to you guys. So, let's see what we've still got to do here. This is the side that is unfinished. And this is where the little strands of hair were. Hair, strands of wood that didn't sand down good because it was still kind of damp. So now it's dry. So I'm gonna re-sand this side with my 100 grit paper still. You can tell it's used. And then we'll blow it off and finish this. When I get done with that, I'll come back and show you the sanding with the 220 grit paper and the second coat of polycrylic. Okay, now we're going to do our final sanding, and this is a 220 grit sandpaper. It's used, but I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but it says P220 there on the back. So, put this on here, and we're just going to sand. I'm not, like, like before, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do a little bit, and I'll grab the camera and then show you what it looks like. Okay. So, that's what it looks like after sanding before blowing it off. Now we're gonna blow it off with the air hose. So that's what it looks like after. Now, we're gonna do this to the whole piece and then we'll come back for the final coat. Okay, I've sanded all four sides with the 220 grit sandpaper and I've blown it off with an air compressor. This is a different piece of furniture that I made that I had to, I gotta put the second coat on it so I've already sanded it as well. Before I put the second coat on, I usually take an older paintbrush and then just brush it off just to make sure I get all the dust off. And as I'm doing this, I don't know if you can see it on the video, I can see little bits of dust coming off. This ensures that it's actually clean and that uh, the second coat will adhere good. So we're gonna start the second coat now. Okay, time for the last coat. I've got a bigger brush this time because I'm gonna do this one and my piece of furniture over there. So we're just gonna do another coat. I've already stirred this. So we're gonna just give it another coat.
and we'll let it dry again. Now, after it's dry this time, we shouldn't have to sand anything else. Unless you find some imperfections that you don't like, you could sand it again with that 220 grit, blow it off real good, and then dry it. Or not dry it, but make sure it's dry and then hit it with another coat. So, all right, I'm gonna stop recording and get this last coat on. Okay, here we have our finished product. As you can see, it looks a lot different than when we started. Really brings out the old saw marks, which I think is cool. The every side turned out good. There's a few spots, like right here, where some of that polycrylic, the little bubbles didn't dry. Or they dry, but they didn't go away. So you can either leave it as is, or you can hit it with that 220 grit sandpaper again and then just touch up the small areas with more polycrylic. So I might do that to this just to get those little white spots off. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, went a little bit longer than I planned on, but either way, I think it was informative. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and share it, and also subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. God bless America. Y'all have a good one.